Critter Hunter. Welcome to part two, guys. And in part one, we were way down south in Chateau, diving some new dive sites. And in this episode, we head a little bit more towards Darwin to check out the dive site called Basat, where we're gonna try to find a lot more critters and appreciate what the ocean has to offer. We're still down at Chateau or Sit Bay, Turtle Island, from the last episode. Just took a nice long surface interval on a beach or sandbar, had it all to ourselves. And now we're going back to Darwin or maybe San Miguita area where we're gonna go diving in the Basak dive site. Uh, it's just a little bit south of Maltepai. A little bit harder to get to by car, so of course we're here with Sea Explorers, Piravina dive boat. Should be awesome. guys so just like i said in the intro on this dive site we get to add basak to our dive site map and it's gonna be an awesome one so let's go check it out i really love these flatworms they come in so many different colors and varieties and then of course there's countless ornate ghost pipefish everywhere there's also robust but these ornate ghost pipefish are some of my favorite they come in a huge variety of colors, and like I've said in previous episodes, these guys are born completely clear, and then they adapt to whatever environment they decide to call their home. And since their homes are feathered sea stars, you can imagine they come in blacks and whites and yellows and green or whatever color this dude is. They're really awesome species, and you really have to look close to find them. Here is a giant crown of thorns. This thing was probably three foot wide. They're very invasive in some locations, but when you're on a reef and you only see one in an entire dive, they also have their purpose in nature. So here's Finn about to film something, who knows what. You guys are gonna have to go watch his channel to see the different critters he found on our same dive. It's always interesting to see what he finds as well. And here's an awesome saw blade shrimp. And I've been filming a lot of saw blade shrimps if you guys have been watching my other episodes. So knowing that, yeah, I made it my goal to film this guy's eggs. And yes, those are eggs hanging on underneath. And as you can imagine, they're very, very tiny. Really a challenge to film. Um, I mean, this entire shrimp, he's probably about two inches long. So you can imagine how tiny those eggs are. But it's not just that. He's also sitting on this black coral that's just flapping in the wind. <laughs> and it's hard to stay focused, keep my lights on him, keep it really steady. Still, you can see the eggs right there and I think that's about as good a shot as I'm ever going to get. Yeah, I'm actually kind of proud of that shot, because those eggs are about the size of a period at the end of a typewriter sentence. 
And here's another shot. But this shot is funny. Look at those little legs. There's just like a whole... <laughs> There's like four legs sitting there. Uh, or is it six legs? I, yeah, maybe six legs. Either way, he's a funny little configuration. On this same coral, I found another ornate ghost pipe fish. Like I was saying earlier, they come in every color. These guys are pretty awesome. Here's a hilarious looking nudie. And look at that to the left. That's another skeleton shrimp. I think they're having a little dispute about land and property rights. I think, uh, I think the skeleton shrimp are here first, but the nudie, he's kind of a bully. That's the rumor going around, so, yeah. Anyways, here's a side view. I don't know the name of these guys. I don't really film these guys ever. I don't see them very often. It is really colorful, and you can see how much sand is flying in the air. Thank God for slow motion. I have no idea the scientific name of these guys, but I think I'm gonna call him Magnificent Butt Featherica. That's a pretty good name, I think. Really scientific. Here's a really close up of his little horn. I think they're called rhinophores. And here's a close up of those butt feathers that makes him magnificent. And here's a really, really tiny nudie. It was really hard to film because he was so tiny. But I had to because it's a different species and color and everything that I've ever seen. This guy was awesome. I'm posting this guy on my Instagram for sure because he is so cute. Everybody's gonna love this little dude. It just goes to show that if you look closely, you're gonna find little critters anywhere. Even sitting on a rock in the middle of nowhere, being about the size of the cotton on an earbud. So what do you guys see here? Where's the critter? He's there. He's on the right. It's a little tiny reef squid, baby. This guy is so shy, he's just peeking around the corner at me, trying to hide. But I got him, you can't hide from the critter hunter. These guys are really hard to find, but when I do find them, I spend the time to film them, because they're probably the cutest little guys ever. He just looks like a tiny little bloop floating in the water, but if you ever hold still, you can tell he's a baby cuttlefish. I actually had to spend quite a bit of time following this little guy around from a distance, just trying to hope that he stops and lets me film him a little bit. And I didn't get a lot of great shots, because every time I turned on the light, he would just kind of slowly float away into some hiding spot. But I got enough shots to put them together and show you guys what he looks like, at least. As I was filming this little squid, this little weird puffer fish floated into the frame. <laughs> He's the weirdest little dude ever. He's about the size of a golf ball, and he's tucking in his tail so that he doesn't get it bit off, I guess. Uh, but look at him, he's all fluffed up like he just ate a freaking mouse or something. <laughs> he was just so hilarious looking, just floating near me. I think he wanted to be in the light or something, but he was just so dang hilarious looking. Kind of some cool patterns on his back. This is usually a species that I ignore, but he was too hilarious. So, back to my little squid. This little guy was just floating everywhere, and I had to get little two or three second shots, whatever I could. And then I ran into a frogfish. I wanted to show you guys how small this guy is, so I put my dive computer next to him. 
this is just a little painted frogfish <laughs> and when my computer was sitting there and I was taking a video he like turned and looked into the computer like he was trying to read it was hilarious you can see he's either looking at the dial and seeing what depth he's at or maybe he's looking at the temperature to see how hot it is at his house or maybe he's just looking at his reflection, I don't know. But either way, it's hilarious. He just kept staring at my computer. Funny little guy. And there's a real-time shot, not in slow motion. Uh, you can just see how really tiny he is. And he keeps getting closer and closer to my computer. I'm trying to check himself out, I think. I think he just now discovered that he's 16 meters deep and He's like, oh my god, that's deep. And then I found another frogfish. I think it's also a painted frogfish. And you can see he's a little bit bigger. He's already got some stuff growing on him. And then this guy was distracting me. I was like, what the heck is that? Anybody, somebody, please tell me what species this is. He's freaking hilarious. Anyways, back to my frogfish. <laughs> This guy was so funny because he had a skeleton ship riding on his head. Now this skeleton ship is either seriously brave or seriously dumb because these are usually the favorite snack of the frogfish. Now this guy wasn't even making it hard for him. He's just sitting there staring him eye to eye like, come at me punk. But I think Froggy must have had his tummy full because he wasn't even twitching. He's like, I'll get you later when my stomach's not so full. I wonder what these guys are thinking. I mean, frogfish, I'm not sure they have huge brains, but... Anyways, this guy's still distracting me. He's like staring at me. I feel like there's surveillance. What are you? And then I ran into another frogfish. This guy was a little bit bigger than the last, probably. I have no idea what kind of frogfish he is, but he's pretty cool. Kinda of just walking around on the bottom. And then I run into one, two, three, four more of these little nudies all together. I don't know if this is an orgy, maybe a picnic, I don't know what's going on. But the magnificent but featherica is now multiplying. Alright, now before you say that I'm wasting my time filming a little clump of algae uh, this is actually a really really tiny algae shrimp or sometimes called a hairy shrimp and he has eggs now with my camera this is nearly impossible to film so you're not gonna see some awesome shots but right there you can see his eye in the front and it wasn't exactly cooperative you can see his little tail feathers in the air right there yes yeah, sticking up And it took me a while to figure out that he's actually holding a whole bunch of eggs under his tail. When I was watching this in the camera on the dive, I could barely see anything. I mean, this guy is seriously like a dot on the end of a sentence on a piece of paper. Whoa, then I ran into this looty. Now this guy has a real butt feathers. I mean, magnificent. This guy... I'm gonna change this guy's name. The, the other guy was little tiny butt feathers, but this one is awesome. Ah, oh, well, now they're kind of droopy. They were awesome a minute ago, I don't know. Maybe he's excited to see me. And there's a lionfish. These guys are everywhere. There's actually quite a big variety of lionfish here. And what they like to do is they like to follow me around and sit in my light or sit just outside my light because other fish are attracted to my light and they'll come in and he'll get a free snack. Yeah, this guy was kind of cool so I had to film him. He looks hilarious with his long horns. But I was wondering what kind of fish he was looking at. Hello little guy. But this is what he was looking at. 
whatever juvenile little fish this is. I had to put it in slow motion because he was wiggling that tail so fast he just looked like a spinning top or something. But this is what the lionfish was stalking in my light. <laughs> good one, huh? Oh, that was a really good dive. I really loved it. Lots of froggies. Goodies. Goodies. The saw blade shrimp. Saw blade shrimp. Oh, really? Uh, huge one. Yeah, really big. I got the eggs. You get the eggs? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome dive. I really like the sack. Yeah. It, uh, it works. <laughs> the magnifying glass. Oh, we saw a little hairy shrimp. Hairy shrimp? That's a big one. Actually, yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's tiny, but. Yeah. Hey, Kale, go. No. You have to explain how you find it. <laughs> Oh, one last thing before I go. Uh, I was wondering where Finn was because I was on the boat and he wasn't. He found a freaking octopus right under the boat and stayed for, he filmed it forever. So, Matoti? Matoti octopus. Matoti. Apparently, it's also poisonous like a blue ring. So, I didn't know that. That's Deadly. cool. So, I'll go to his you. channel and check out a lot of octopus footage. Like, Weird, huh? He was like walking. He got on two feet and just started walking. I yeah. see the footage already, so. At one point, I thought it was the mimic because he was doing a lot of character things. He yeah. was walking, he turned into a squid. Yeah, super Multiple weird. Multiple colors, it's so weird, man. Super weird, weird footage, so definitely go check that out because I didn't film it. I didn't even see it. I'm jealous. Well, <laughs> I stayed until I had like 10 bars left because that's once Worth it. Once a year type of find is. I don't know where I'm gonna find that again, but it's one of the most rarest here in Darwin. Well, so and the world, I guess. Definitely, definitely worth running out of air. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.